everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with my March wrap up and it's insane. I think I read 24 books this month. I will have it in the title. I'm going to do this month's wrap up a little bit differently, mainly because I read so many books. So a part of the large number of books that I read were nine books, I believe, for the Barwathon. I am not going to be discussing them outside of just the title so that I can tell you what I read. If you're interested in knowing more about those, you can check out the Barwathon wrap up that I did and I will link that up above because that's just going to be the easiest way and then I don't have to go over those nine books and I can get to all of the other ones that I read. So that's what we're going to do for that. Let's jump right into it. The first thing that I read this month was an audiobook and I actually started it in February but didn't finish it until March. You're Never Weird on the Internet by Felicia Day. It was super cute. I listened to it in audiobook because Felicia herself did narrate it and she is just a freaking adorable and the stories were relatable to a certain extent. I'm not a gamer and a lot of the things that she was talking about in her youth I couldn't necessarily relate to but I still found that it was super funny and super cute and I loved getting to know more about her and it was about just being unique and yourself and embracing your quirks and what makes you completely individual. And I thought it was adorable and a really cute nonfiction read. And I've been trying to do more of those. So I was happy to get to that and finish it up this month. I'm just going to show you all of these at once because I flew through them. I read Saga Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, and Volume 6. And all of them were five star reads. I have tried a couple other graphic novels since then and I'm realizing I just don't love anything as much as I love this. So I might have started off a little too strong because now I don't know what to do with myself. And these are obviously not the first of the series so I can't really tell you anything about it without spoiling but it's about opposing factions on an alien planet. The two warriors fall in love and they have a baby and that's a big no-no. So they're on the run and they're just trying to keep their little family safe and it's just so good. It's so good. Then I read This School for Good and Evil, which was our Java and the Librarian's book of the month, and I really enjoyed this. I think I gave it four stars. I thought it was a really cool take on fairy tales. There's an entire live show regarding this book. I will link that up above as well. And then I decided, despite you guys telling me to read the Grisha trilogy, that I was just going to continue with this series. So I did. This is The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes. This one I think I gave three stars. It was not as good for me. Things started to get weird. Again, it's not the first one of a series, so I'm not going to go into it. And I'm not even going to go into the School for Good and Evil because I've talked about it enough and there's an entire live show dedicated to it. I also read the third book, which was The Last Ever After, which I got from the library. I did not like the way the series wrapped up. It felt super forced at the end. There was like character development and character decisions towards the ends of the book that I didn't think made sense. Just the way that it wrapped up was a little bit weird to me. It was cute. It was nice. I enjoyed it to a certain extent, but there were some revelations in the third book that made some things in books one and two weird. There was something I can't quite pinpoint that put me into a bit of a slump. It took me a long time to get through these books and for middle grade books they really shouldn't have taken me that long. Overall I'd give the series about a three star rating. It was okay but I'm still glad that I read them. So then I read Death Note which was a graphic novel that you guys recommended to me and I found myself not enjoying it. I think I gave it three stars. Then I read Difficult Women by Roxane Gay and it was flipping phenomenal. I did an entire spoiler free review which I can link up above and I'll also have listed down below. It was dark and twisted. I'm not sure I should have loved it as much as I did but I really did. Then I read The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safran. I am ashamed to say that I gave this two stars. I did not like it. I listened to it in audiobook. Maybe that was my downfall. I don't know. It was so unbearably slow. The mystery of it didn't really intrigue me. The suspicious character that he befriends that starts living with them like didn't intrigue me. Nothing about it gripped me and I didn't find the writing good enough to keep me enthralled and the storyline was just so meh. No. Nope, not for me. 
Then we get into my bar -a -thon. I read Witches by Scott Snyder, Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. I also read By Your Side by Casey West. I read The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which was phenomenal. I have an entire spoilery free review on that as well that I'll link above. I read Under the Never Sky in audiobook. I read Peter Pan, Tiger Lily in physical form, The Secret Garden in audiobook, which I have physically, so I can show you that one. Um, all of those are in my specific Borrowathon wrap up. You can check out more about them there. I'm not going to go into them here because I just have too much to go through still. You guys voted for it. I finally read it. I read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is the first of the Grisha trilogy. This was the series that you guys voted that I should read next and I just didn't feel compelled to pick it up for whatever reason. And then I decided, uh, why not? I should probably just do it. I will have an entire series discussion on this because, spoiler alert, I finished the entire series in like four days. I think I gave this a four star rating. Push comes to shove, there wasn't a ton of like characters in this book that I liked. There were not a ton of plot points and, and plot devices that I enjoyed. Pretty boring, to be honest, but it was still a quick read. So I read Shadow and Bone, quickly followed up by Siege and Storm, and then I did finish Ruin and Rising with a day to go. So yesterday I really didn't read that much. I finished this by like noon and then I had the entire rest of the day. I'm filming this on the first, so I had the entire rest of the day. I read all of those before the end of the month and... I also read Through the Ever Night, which is the second book of the Under the Never Sky series by Veronica Rossi. That audiobook I enjoy. I enjoy the narrator and I enjoy the audiobooks in general. I will say that for a series with like, it's a sci-fi, but they have like certain powers. And one of the powers is being able to like scent and notice like people's moods and feelings. There's so much miscommunication in this book that it makes me bananas. And from the part of a person who's supposed to be able to scent those things, like miscommunication in books is one of the things that makes me absolutely crazy. I just can't stand it. It just bothers me. I don't know why, because miscommunication is common enough in real life, but it bothers me in books. However, I do enjoy the plot in general and they're easy listens. So I will probably get the third book and just continue with that series in audiobook. I'm going to do a quick tally. Yeah, so 24 books this month and I've told you guys the entire month that I was in a reading slump. That's still impressive for like what I would still honestly still consider a slump because for a while there, especially during this series, I just wasn't enthused about what I was reading. Like I was still reading. I read every day this month but there was still something a little bit off. I am excited to be caught up on Saga. I know the seventh one is coming out like soon. I'm excited to have finished two different series. I finished the School for Good and Evil series and the Grisha trilogy this year, this month. I got in a couple Peter Pan reads. I got in two classics. I got in a nonfiction. All in all, a good reading month for a month that felt kind of meh to me. I didn't realize how good it was until like towards the end of the month when I started to actually tally them up. That's been my March wrap up. I hope that you guys have had a fantastic reading month as well. Although I've seen a lot of people on my social media say that they're in the same kind of funk that I am. So we'll see. If you liked this video, give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. <music>